high age conveyor. This course covers the 2020 model. If you will be servicing a 1618 or 2620 model, there are some similarities to the 2020. But refer to the owner's manual for model specific information. Click the next arrow to learn how to navigate this course. Throughout this course, you'll see warning messages appear when a described procedure presents a safety risk. Failure to carefully follow the instructions and safety guidelines could result in serious injury or death. Some test procedures or troubleshooting scenarios will require the power to be present. Please use extreme caution when dealing with live voltage. Technicians can prevent injuries and costly mistakes by consistently following the defined procedures. Please review the safety guidelines. Most of the component test procedures require the voltage to be present. Always use extreme caution in dealing with live voltage. Observe all safety warnings before performing these tests. Click on the component to view the test procedures. Check for line voltage at terminals L and N. If 120 volts AC is present, check for 24 volts DC at the negative and positive V terminals. If voltage isn't present, disconnect the wires and check for 24 volts DC again. If you still don't get voltage, then there's a bad power supply. If voltage is present, then it's likely a defective harness or circuit board. To test K6, unplug the oven and remove the connections. Measure the resistance of the coil. It should be 585 ohms. Replace the relay if the correct resistance wasn't measured. Then, turn the oven back on and check for 24 volts DC at the coil of the relay when the unit is calling for heat. Check the state of the contacts. If the normally open contacts are closed when coil voltage is applied, the relay is functioning normally. If the contacts are open when coil voltage is applied, the relay must be replaced. To test case 7, unplug the oven and remove the connections. Measure the resistance of the coil. It should be 585 ohms. Replace the relay if the correct resistance wasn't measured. Then, Turn the oven back on and check for 24 volts DC at the coil of the relay when the unit is calling for heat. Check the state of the contacts. If the normally open contacts are closed when coil voltage is applied, the relay is functioning normally. If the contacts are open when coil voltage is applied, the relay must be replaced. Disconnect the RTD from the control board. Place the RTD in a bowl of ice water for 2 minutes. Measure the RTD. If the resistance is not 100 ohms, the RTD is defective and must be replaced. Unplug the unit. Measure the resistance of the motor windings by disconnecting it from the conveyor motor speed controller. If all readings are correct, reconnect the power and check for voltage at the windings. If voltage isn't present, ensure the CMSC is operating properly. If the CMSC is OK, inspect the wire harness for damage or shorts. If the wire harness and CMSC test OK, then the conveyor motor must be replaced. Check for faults on the CMSC while the oven is operating. There should be a frequency output if the system is operating correctly. Check the AC voltage at L1 and L2, and the DC voltage at terminals COM and AI1. If AC voltage is not present, inspect the wire harness for damage or shorts. If the DC control voltage is not present, check the output voltage at the I.O. board. If the voltage is not present at the I.O. board, then the board should be replaced. If the CMSC still isn't working, disconnect the conveyor motor and check the resistance of the motor windings. If everything is OK, then the CMSC should be replaced. Unplug the unit and make sure the motor spins freely. Measure the resistance of the motor windings. If all readings are correct, 
reconnect power and check for voltage at the windings. If voltage isn't present, ensure the BMSC is operating properly. If the BMSC is OK, inspect the wire harness for damage or shorts. If the wire harness is OK as well, the blower motor should be replaced. The convection heaters are powered by 208 volts AC and has a resistance of 14.4 ohms. The heaters are controlled by the K4, K5 solid state relay and the voltage can be tested by turning the heaters on and off. To go into test mode, press R3 from the configuration menu. Then press L1 on test page 1 for the heater control. L1 turns the heaters on. And R1 turns the heaters off.